Okay, so there's good news and there's bad news about this dish. The good news is that the chocolatey center is really nice because when you boil the raviolo, it melts all the chocolate and it makes a nice semi-oozy experience, which is pretty nice. But that's pretty much the only good part. Uh, I made the pasta with egg, flour, rub sage, sugar, and vanilla. That was what I had in mind when I was thinking of a pasta dessert dish, but didn't really come out right. The pasta itself was too thick. It's kind of difficult to do without a pasta roller. I was trying to do it with the with the, the rolling pin and I still couldn't get it thin enough. Um, you have to keep in mind that whatever thickness you're at, it's gonna double because you're lying the two sheets of pasta over each other to create the raviolo. So I guess this would only work out if you had a pasta roller or some way to roll out this pasta really thin. Uh, in order to not have the pasta really overpower this dish and create a really like almost uh, slimy texture after you take it out. I even tried patting it down with, with a paper towel, but even then it was it was very thick and it, like I said, it drew away from the main purpose of this dish, which was to be a, a dessert rather than sort of just a lot of carbs uh, surrounding more carbs. So... Uh, it, overall, I don't think I'll return this dish mainly because I don't have a pasta roller, but I would say for those of you who are trying to do the same thing, definitely add more flavor to the pasta than you think you'll need because it will uh, absorb a lot.